The Oscars are this Sunday, and you're looking at the VIP space where winners and presenters will be relaxing before and after they hit the stage. And if these colors look familiar, that's because it was designed by Rolex for the Oscars. Oh. Oh. Looks just like our green room. <laughs> <laughs> it's identical. I can't really tell the difference. The company wanted this year's lounge to look like an oasis, and all of the materials used are sustainably sourced. It is literally impossible to be a woman. You are so beautiful and so smart, and it kills me that you don't think you're good enough. At the Oscars this Sunday, Barbie is nominated for eight Oscars, but does it have a shot at taking home any of them? The movie could be overshadowed by Oppenheimer, a favorite to win several major categories, but there could be some surprises. So let's bring in everyone and our film critic, Gray Drake, to get her picks for who will win, but also who should win. Let's welcome in Gray. Hey, Gray. I'm ready. Listen, I have opinions. They are locked and loaded. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> we love it. That's how we yes. like it. Yes. Barbie's not going to win. When in doubt, pick Oppenheimer this year. Oh. I'm sorry. It's going to be boring. Next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go to something fun. The supporting actress in a, in a role category. It's an amazing field. So many movies to choose from. So who would be your pick to win? Okay. Divine Joy Randolph from The Holdovers has won every award under the sun. She's going to keep winning because her role as Mary in that film is everything. It's heartbreaking, it's funny, it's relatable, and her speeches are sensational. Uh, they are absolutely incredible. And we just showed all of the fellow nominees, and we're seeing Davine Joy Randolph in Dolomite Is My Name. That's where Alexander <laughs> Payne discovered her. So she has such range. She's done theater. She's done movies now. But, yes, yeah, she is a newcomer to most audiences, right? Right. And she went over to something like the BAFTAs as an American performer, and the, all the U.K. voters were like, we love you, too. She is oh, truly good. an international star now. Awesome. Couldn't be more deserved. Great. All right, let's talk about the best actor in a supporting role. We do have some newcomers and a legend nominated. So Mark Ruffalo, Robert De Niro, Robert Downey Jr., Sterling K. Brown, and Ryan Gosling in this category. Oh. Now, what are you thinking here? I love this category. I'm so glad that Ryan Gosling, a.k.a. the baby goose, is going to get his moment <laughs> singing on Sunday. Okay. okay, but he's not going to win, all right? Okay. The winner is going to be Robert Downey Jr. Ah, uh, he's okay. been winning everything, right? I can't right. hate that. Yeah. No, can't be mad <laughs> at you it. You can't go wrong with him. So Robert Downey Jr., obviously one of Hollywood's greatest comeback stories, right? If he's not wearing an Iron Man costume, now he's in Oppenheimer. He's been nominated three times, and he's never won. Oh. Aww. Yeah, well, that would be nice. Yeah. But you do have a favorite for who you want to win. Yeah, I mean, if this were my Oscars, I would give this one to Mark Ruffalo. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because, listen, in Poor Things, he had a really tough job. This is not easy to act against Emma Stone giving one of the best physical performances I've ever seen in a film. Oh. He really holds his own as this man who's being dragged around by her. <laughs> and I love Mark <laughs> Ruffalo because he's he acts like a fan on the carpet, too. He is so down to earth. He's one of the nicest actors. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, I always love to more. hear that. Right. And, and he's so, the Hulk. When he loses on Sunday, I hope he goes Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Ah, okay, let's go to the best actor category now. This might be the most competitive race, right? The nominees are Paul Giamatti, Bradley Cooper, Coleman Domingo, Cillian Murphy, and Jeffrey Wright. Who's going to win and who should win? Okay, well, it's not going to be Bradley Cooper. He's too pretty. Next. <laughs> Um, Agreed. Who, You're ridiculous. <laughs> Paul Giamatti has won all but one mm -hmm. of these awards. Oh. Okay, so his role in The Holdovers, every bit as great as Davine Joy Randolph, all right? But in my heart, the great Coleman Domingo portraying Bayard Rustin. Yes, like he's Bay incredible. Bayard Rustin is one of the most important civil rights figures in America that no one knows about. So mm. go watch this movie on Netflix, educate yourself, and just s soak in his amazing performance. I haven't seen this yet, but I do feel like this is his era. Like, he's oh everywhere gosh, yes. right oh. now, and everything I've seen has been good, but I haven't seen that one yet. Yes, he has movies coming out. He's going to be back. Coleman Domingo has a lot of shots at wins ahead of him, of course. Mm -hmm. He's been working a long time already. He's definitely earned it. All right, awesome. Let's talk about Best Actress category, which has been predictable. The list of nominees incredible, though. You have <laughs> Lily Gladstone, Emma Stone, Annette Bening, Carrie Mulligan, and Sandra Hewler. So what do you think? 
Well, this is actually one of the tougher ones because Lily Gladstone has also won most of these mm -hmm. awards. Now, mm -hmm. her role as Molly in Killers of the Flower Moon was so powerful. This woman laid in bed for half of a three-hour film, and she is nominated for an Oscar. <laughs> okay? Life goals. Right. Exactly. So she is no slouch. She is new to the game, not the acting game, but the Oscar game. She's going to win. I think her only competition is a former winner, Emma Stone. Okay. Right? right. Again, Emma. great and poor things. She's great. Watch that movie. Not with your parents or your children. <laughs> watch it. That's yes. actually the best tip I've gotten <laughs> yes. all day. Amazing. <laughs> and let's talk about the biggest prize of the night. Now, best picture, they've opened up the category. They can do five up to ten, and they went with ten this year. We have The Holdovers, American Fiction, The Zone of Interest, Barbie, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Past Lives, Anatomy of a Fall, Maestro, and Killers of the Flower Moon. And these cannot be more different from each other. It's mm. so hard to pick. Right. And the good news is, is that so many of these movies are already streaming, so you can enjoy them. They are great. They are all really worthy nominees. This is a good group. But when in doubt, go with Oppenheimer. Yep. Every time. Mm. So Oppenheimer actually has a shot at breaking some records. It could tie the winningest films in Oscar history, like Return of the King, that Lord of the Rings movie, and Titanic. Oh, oh. Titanic. Oh, no. Well, I need to watch it. Uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm I mean, so she with the boat sinks at the end. I'm Sorry. Okay. Too. okay. Right. No, yeah. Titanic. Titanic. Oppenheimer. <laughs> you know what's great? <laughs> Don't do me that. I'm going to get okay. hate mail from Titanic <laughs> cult I mean, fans. We know how Oppenheimer ends, too, frankly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, do you true. have a pick, Ray? Oh, I would just love to see American Fiction or Barbie win this one. Mm -hmm. Honestly, those are two of some of the, mo the catchiest, most subversive, most interesting, most daring movies in the category. Mm -hmm. So you have to check them out if you haven't enjoyed both or either one yet. Okay. okay. Thank you, Greg.